Hello everyone and welcome by another video of the Orchid Saga. Today it's a little bit of uh, everything in one video, so we're doing some blooming updates and I will uh, talk about some stuff while I'm filming. And let's start in the Orchid Room. This is uh, a beautiful display, if you ask me, of flowers. And I don't remember the name of this Orchid of the, on top of my head. Renaissance Coral. It's from the Incas, at least that is uh, where I bought it. From them, but a beautiful one. Nice fragrance on it. And here we have some blooms to come. Big spike on the... Oh, I need a uh, red ruby. That's it. And... This one opens up completely. Beautiful blooms. Really like the colors on this one, and officially it's no ID. It's but I have it as still as a no ID. I think I have a uh, name for it in my notes. I'm sorry, but um, yeah, beautiful one. And this one is now done flowering. It's a purple. Was a beautiful purple one. This one next to it is also starting to go over. And this is the, let me check my name tag, Violetta von Holm. It's, okay, it's nice, but it's not really one that I say, wow, this is beautiful. I, I like it, don't get me wrong, but it's not, um, yeah, I don't know. It also has some... Teddy leaves, which you can't see because of the backlight, I'm sorry. It's a bit strong. And we have some beautiful Zygo bloom still. And I'm lucky enough to have another spike there. This is the Golden Bay. Beautiful one. And we have this one. It's also beautiful. This one has a also a beautiful rosy-like fragrance. It's no idea. I have really no idea what this one could be. Very hard to find. And we have some blooms here. Also lovely. A Nelly Eiler. First rebloom on this one. And it has four, six, seven flowers. So I'm really happy. It's not a big plant. And I think this is the Red Velvet. I like the fragrance. Not all people do, I know, but uh, I uh, really do it. I do like it, I'm sorry. And um, these are uh, also Nelly Eilers. And this one has a spike as well. This one as well, but it doesn't show yet. But it's in there, in the sheet, in a, in a leaf, I'm sorry. Still, but that's uh, that's the first to have uh, all my Nelly Eilers uh, to rebloom again. So I'm very happy. And the Miltoniopsis are very fussy, but I think these one I, um, can be quite a little bit harder even than the, than the Miltonias. But um, yeah, they start to bloom, so that's uh, really uh, beautiful. Still a lot of blooms on my Miltoniopsis. And we do get these are new blooms, just uh, open yet, and we have spikes still to come. One is opening there. And I just recently did a care lab on these uh, Miltonias, Miltonia abscesses. It's quite a long video, but I wanted to share uh, as much information on them as I could. So I hope you uh, will uh, appreciate it. And um, yeah, so therefore I'm now going to move on because I uh, did have them uh, all in focus, all in, uh, <laughs> in spotlight. Um, my Alkmaar is still blooming there in the back, but those blooms are going over now, as you can see. And this is the Irish Mist, also uh, going over. This is the time where you can cut the flower spikes. It's brown now, so it has uh, taken the energy back. Let's have a look in the greenhouse. So a little bit of everything, like I said in the intro. We are uh, rebuilding, um, yeah, rebuilding, I think, redecorating, rebuilding the, the house. So uh, it's kind of busy. It's uh, also kind of a big uh, chaos in my house, but yeah. It is what it is. Um, also, I, I, we have quite uh, some busy times in our uh, bird, sh uh, bird shelter. That's my daily job. 
seven days a week now, and it's okay, it's beautiful work, don't get me wrong. But um, it's very busy, you can imagine, I think. So I try to keep up with my filming because I like it so, so much. And uh, while I'm talking, this is the uh, Psychopsis, you probably recognize it. And fortunately, again, I have all th three of them to blooming at the same time, which is beautiful, of course. I really like these, uh, yeah, strange shapes blooms, if I uh, <laughs> can, uh, can say it. I'm thinking of uh, getting the Mariposa 3-lip, it's the same uh, family. I think I will that one, add, one, add that one to my collection someday, because it's also nice. But I uh, prefer these uh, even a bit more. I, mean, I really, really love these. These are my favorites. And also the yellow ones. I now have two of them, the Alba version in uh, bloom, and one uh, is uh, about to open up, I think. <coughs> I'm sorry. But uh, anyhow, yeah, so it's very busy uh, uh, these days, and that's okay. I'm not complaining, but um, and the house is really getting uh, very, very nice. Um, but um, yeah, it's a lot of work, and I have people helping because I, uh, I may have here and there a little bit of green on my fingers, on my thumb. <laughs> but uh, I think I have two left hands, so uh, yeah, I need some help there, and I'm getting it. But I, uh, yeah, it's very busy. And you can see I have. Hey, a lot of flying um, ants there. It's crazy, you guys. Look at them. Oh, I really tried to get rid of them, but yeah, they like my greenhouse a bit too much, I think. Anyhow, anyhow, my venas think uh, they do are doing better. I will do an update on them uh, pretty soon, but uh, I now have them in clay pots. If you missed the video. Before that I had them hanging for a little while, and before that I had, uh, most of the years, uh, I had them in glass faces. But uh, I now try to uh, put them up in uh, terracotta pots. And my cattleyas, at the moment I do not have cattleya blooms yet, but they are working, some of them on uh, sheets and uh, some buds are in there. And I really hope my biggest cattleya I have this one for years. I really hope now that this uh, sheet will uh, yeah, carry some buds. It's the Chinatown with those very, very uh, big red um, blooms. So I really hope to see that one uh, flower sometime. I never had it in flower. But now in the greenhouse it gets way more light and I think that's the, the trick, I think. Caracidum, Caracidium, Caracidii. This one is the biggest. It's a very, very big bulb. But before that, it had also a very uh, big cane, but not as fat as this one. Those four, I have four uh, Caracidii, Caracidii. Um, all new ones. I never had them before. So I started growing them this year. So these new growths, the first ones that I uh, grew are growing, they're still growing. Um, beautiful news on my golden elf, two new growths, new roots starting to get in the pot, so yeah, I'm happy, really happy with this. What I also do get is ferns, so now I'm growing them in a the greenhouse, the ferns like it. It's okay, I like ferns, but as you can see this one is taking over the pot, so one day it has to come out. But I will pot it up separately, because I like uh, ferns. Uh, let's have a look, what do we have more? Not much happening here. Well, actually they are still growing, of course, but... Uh, yeah, not much blooming-wise, some new roots, beautiful, right? And cyclias, I have two of them. First them here, these are uh, quite newer ones, who didn't have new roots in a pot yet, so therefore I keep them separate so I can uh, water them more easily. Because they are uh, separate from the rest. Uh, also a funny thing, I still have some uh, some blooms and some new blooms on my uh, fells. But what I did notice is this, they start blooming again. It made, for example, this one made this flower spike this year already, but it's starting a second one. Oh, and my Leodor is just open today. Beautiful. This one will uh, probably get more yellow if uh, we get more sun. I noticed that on the on the other blooms. 
Bellina in the back and Violetia there. But um, yeah, I have like this beautiful new spike and a new spike there in the back. This one started this spike this year, it's working on another one. Um, this one actually works on this spike as you can see and another one here. This is the first that I have two growing at the same time. Um, not a spike here. Uh, we have another spike here. I hope you can see it. There. And a very big spike here and in the back as well. So we have two spikes there, one, but this one is very big. When I bought it, this had a very big bloom. So I'm hoping that's, uh, that, that it will give those big blooms again, of course. From Ikea, this beautiful yellow one. This is the Sogo Meili Sogo. Also beautiful. And uh, yeah, this one is making a spike. So I have quite a lot of spikes. I think that is because uh, the night temperatures are dropping quite uh, rapidly. And I have another one coming here. And the day times are around uh, 28 to 30 degrees. And at night it's around 20. So the differentiation there is quite uh, quite huge, and I think my uh, vanillops like it. They really respond to it. So uh, that's okay. This uh, big one, it's a dendrobium type, chrysanthemum, I think. I cannot get the tag now, but uh, if you really want to know, I, I can uh, leave a comment. But um, you can ask me, and I will leave a comment. Uh, but I see buds forming always around this year. This is the third time that I have to re uh, have it in rebloom. Well, it's, it's supposed to be a rebloom. I think it will uh, succeed. But um, always around this time of year. And while it's reblooming, starting the buds, it's also working on a new growth. Quite big already. And this one is taking off now. It was there quite, l quite, quite some time, but now it's really starting to grow. Last year I had the sort of same thing happening and that new growth emerged quite quickly. It was half, half the uh, length of the older cane and it stopped growing and it started blooming uh, almost at the same time as the uh, oldest uh, cane. Uh, the the uh, second new one, I'm sorry, not the oldest one, but the second one, the one that was starting to bloom. So it's maybe getting in blooming mode, I don't know, and then it is starting um, to let it, that new cane bloom as well. So this cane was is, is shorter as you can see. It stops here, where this one is going way down. But this one came after this new cane already bloomed, if that, that makes sense. So I didn't know that this one uh, does that, but apparently it can happen. <laughs> um, let's look at this side. We have a bit more blooms here. Polar fire still in full glory. Two canes, two, uh, spikes. I'm sorry, one is uh, gone now. This is a fairly new one. It did keep blooming while well, I was I had uh, had it repotted, and it's adjusting in a pot, but it still kept the flowers, and it just uh, doesn't look uh, bad. And we actually had there a new growth, so I kept it. The new roots. Sometimes that happens. Most of the times I need to take the blooms off, but in this case it was okay. And this one, it's such a beauty. It's my Puff 58 something. Strange name. Let me grab the tag. Um, Dendrobium Puff yeah, 58. Yellow fragrant. That's the name of this one. I was lucky enough to find this one on eBay. The Orchid Man. And, but it's beautiful, really, and it's fragrant indeed. It's not a very strong fragrance. It's a bit uh, soapy, but uh, <laughs> lovely, sweet soapy. But look at the flowers. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful spike. First time in bloom, and it's also working on a new cane. That one in the back. It's a new one as well. Then we have the snow jade here. Beautiful. Very vibrant colors on those lips. Since I have it in the greenhouse, more light. And this one is really, really strong color-wise. Beautiful. Two spikes actually here. As you can 
can see this is one and this is one they are a bit tangled together but in the back number three new growth so this one is really uh, really doing well it hadn't much roots but I think it's uh, recovered quite uh, quite good and this one is still in bloom it's the Esmeralda the Grobian Esmeralda <coughs> um, Yes, these blooms are even larger than that one. It's a bit older cane. These ones are even even bigger. So I think that's a good sign. My noblies are really are growing well. Doing fine. My um, common berryoda is working on new growths. It was in bloom for quite long, but this is a new berryoda, fairly new. It's the red ruby, so it should have red blooms, and you can see it's almost starting to opening up the buds. The buds are still forming. It's a fairly small plant, but it will uh, at least bloom and it has a beautiful root system. So it uh, will do fine. Then we have some Oncidium types. After years, I must admit, they uh, will start to rebloom for me. Dancing Lady type there, and this is the one with uh, yellow and almost black. And, oh, here is the tag. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Let me see. It's the far Faricosum. Baldum Black. If you want to know. This one is wasn't doing so well. But this bulb is the newest. And I think it's uh, really... Um, sorry. It's, I hope you could uh, hear me. I <laughs> did forget to put off the fan. Very close to it now. But... Uh, um, this is the newest bulb, so it's getting there, it's getting back, it's thicker, and this one has the spike, so it's okay, I thought I will let it spike. Something to look forward, but the first time uh, a rebloom, and this one is making multiple buds on those first two, uh, yeah, buds, um, secondary spikes, how do you call them, branches, that was the word, I'm sorry. So we will have quite some blooms, I think. And in top, there are still some to come. So I'm really looking forward. And the Dancing Ladies could have way more blooms, I know, but it's a fairly young plant. I struggled with it quite a while, so I didn't do it justice. But uh, now I think it's uh, taking off again. And we have some, even some Twinkle Blooms. This one decided to bloom. And that's okay, of course. And we have another one who's about to bloom. And my yellow one is over here. That's my biggest one. Has quite some spikes sticking out as well. So that's beautiful. Oh yeah, my uh, Katarina Sag. If I pronounced it correctly. Beautiful. Beautiful blooms. Blooms quite a lot. Beautiful fragrance. We have a big uh, cane uh, there. Big cane. Uh, spike, I'm sorry. But as you can see, I'm going to back up a little bit. Beautiful display. It is that I don't have the room at the moment, but otherwise I probably would have this one in the home because of the fragrance. I really like it. Then we have this big girl. <laughs> I have those two to, uh, tangled up together because otherwise it's uh, one is hanging out for the fan. And I think that it doesn't like that as much, but we have even blooms here. It's a little inconvenient if I want to go outside, but yeah, what can you do, right? It's such a beautiful plant. Look how big it is. And uh, quite some spikes there. We have even two there in the back. One is taking this road. <laughs> beautiful. And uh, pretty much the same with this purple one. Put it back on the shelf. I had it for a while on the floor, but now the blooms are opened up and the spikes are bending over. Well, at least we have one there. I keep an eye on it. It's not touching the roof yet, but if it will, I will have it uh, on the floor again. Another um, Brescia type opened up its blooms there. I will have it uh, for a beautiful, uh, more beautiful display when it's opened up completely, because the blooms are very beautiful. Um, this was my first rescue. I found this one in a store without any roots. I just bought it, and um, after years, Last year I had it uh, for the first time in, in bloom. Well, actually, I think it was the start of this year. But anyhow, beautiful. And then something 
quite spectacular, I think. Look at these guys. And notice we have one there. We have one there and two here. Beautiful. I never had this one in bloom. This is a Fusarium struggling plant. I may have it recover from Fusarium. I'm not sure. Uh, I will. I have a video on how I uh, go uh, work with f f plants who are infected with Fusarium. So if you and I even do some updates, I will do soon on uh, uh, ones that I currently have that are recovering from Fusarium. But this is the uh, Miltonia spectabilis variation Moreliana royalty, and these. Petals and sepals really do look like silk. You see the shine there? It's it's really it's almost looks like silk fabric, silk. Beautiful. Colors are fantastic. Such a happy uh, I'm such a happy uh, grower when I see this. It's so beautiful. And it makes up for all the effort you put in. And I have a separate uh, part of this plant over here that is also in bloom. And this one has three blooms. This one, uh, um, yeah, I now have two, uh, probably one day I can give uh, one away or maybe uh, um, give it to someone, another grower and uh, for an exchange of plants, something like that. This one is also a first time grower, uh, <laughs> grower bloomer. This one was actually even uh, earlier in bloom than the Mor Moriana in the back. This is the Miltonia Festiva. Lovely blooms. I love them, of course, again. <laughs> now, but really, seriously, I really, really like them. I hope to can get them into a shot a bit. Beautiful, right? But um, it's not the best bloom, I think. I don't know if this is, no this is normal, but you can see three blooms are very clustered together. I think the dull days, I'm not sure, I think the dull days uh, was... Um, Influencing that it probably did uh, needed a little bit more light to get that flower spike a bit longer But I, I don't know this first time uh, that this one is blooming, but I think it's a fairly Yeah, it's now getting healthier plant. Maybe is that uh, is that on some influences on the blooming but and This one as well. It has not that the, the longest flower spike But I don't know the flowering habit of this one. Maybe this one will drop and another one will come. I have no idea and I must admit I didn't look it up. So that's a bit of a surprise. My sunset, still in bloom, beautiful colors as well. And then we have the Ragnelli eye. Look at the amount of blooms. And quite some spikes to come. I counted 18 spikes you guys, seriously, 18 spikes. I was talking about it in a comment with um, Paul McCarthy. And it did go back into the greenhouse. I had to do a recount, but yeah, it's it really is 18. It's amazing. Then we have this beautiful. This is the uh, orange delight, Brushia orange delight, or Bertonia, or something like that. For me, it's Brushia, but beautiful display. Let me. Uh, I'm sorry. Let me. You can see the spider orchid. And another spike, uh, sp spiker, spider orchid is uh, working on. Uh, a cane? I say a cane again, I'm sorry, it's a bloom spike, it's not a cane. Anyhow, um, then we have this beauty. Lovely blooms, lovely blooms, very delicate, beautiful pink lip with a creamy color on the sepals and the petals. It's beautiful, it's a very, just a sweet flower, I think. I don't know, <laughs> it may sound a bit strange, but I, I, yeah, it's very sweet, I think. Very delicate, and there are some more to come. And before I forget, this is a cross that came from Petrens, Belgium. Uh, it's a uh, Ringonia Osteria Alba. Beautiful one. Flowers are not that big, but uh, and then of course my Hebrianum. A rebloom after years. I really thought that this one was gone, but it's uh, luckily it isn't. Beautiful hairy blooms, as you can see. Very, very, very lovely. And then we have my Bartley Schwartz White is working on a beautiful spike. It's first time. So looking forward to that one. And next to it, 
I think it's the summer breeze, but look at the amount of spikes, you guys. It's crazy. <laughs> we still have one here to open up. We have one here in the back. And when it's fully opened, I will uh, make some pictures, but I hope these blooms will hold on a little bit longer. I think they are here for a while. I think this one is blooming for a while. Some are tangled up there. But you can see there are a lot of blooms here. There are a few in the middle, so I hope a few in the middle there. That makes, I think, a beautiful display. And we have some more here. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, this one is doing so well for me. It has a root full of pots, uh, full of pots, a root full of pots, a pot full of roots. There you go. Uh, it's also working on a new growth already. And the last new growths, not this ones, but the ones behind, uh, did uh, make all, uh, all three of them two new growths. So I had six new growths at once. And they all have at least one spike. Some, have, some of them have, uh, have two. So I'm now curious if to see if they get two new growths each bulb again. That will make a, a very big plant. But we shall see. But uh, yeah, beautiful, beautiful. Um, okay, I will turn on the fan again in the background. Because it's very warm. What else do we... Oh, I missed my Maya. I keep forgetting to film this one. Spotted one. I'm back to uh, next to a van again. I hope you can uh, can hear me quite well. But beautiful spotted blooms, beautiful ones. And I really, really like this one as well. Car Karen Alba. Do I say that good? Yeah. Al oh, uh, not Alba. Al Aloa. Karen Aloa. This one has a positive idea, I'm <laughs> because this one came with a tag. And I see it uh, in some videos again, so I'm pretty sure this one is. And I feel some new bots coming, that's kind of nice, yes. See, there's a branch going on. Beautiful. So, okay, um, yeah, I did have quite some videos last week up. Um, I did uh, some pre-recording, um, not much, but a few days, because I wanted to do quite a lot of updates. And uh, that was very handy because of the uh, uh, rebuilding the house and etc. But uh, yeah, like I said, I will try to uh, keep uh, posted as much as I can. But uh, if you leave a comment and it takes me a few days uh, to get back to you, now you know the reason. Everything is okay, but I'm very, very busy. It's just the season. Uh, it comes with the job and it's okay. I really love my job. So it's, uh, we have quite a lot of young birds that need uh, feeding. We even have a young deer. It's very beautiful, so I have to give that uh, milk. And a haze, a young haze, same story. Needs milk, of course. And the young birds and uh, needs feeding. Oh, and we have this one. This one is actually has quite a lot of blooms. It's a no idea. I really don't have a name for it. Did you see all those white dots? There, there are all blooms, and I see quite a lot of um, new buds coming as well. But anyhow, um, uh, so that's uh, yeah, they need feeding, and it takes up quite quite a lot of time. Every hour, I have to be there. Uh, like I said, it's okay, but um, yeah. So I will uh, come back with uh, my schedule, filming wise, uh, pretty soon. I hope. I hope the house will be done last August. I hope. And then I will have to do quite some up potting, I think. So that's uh, going to be nice. I uh, still remember to make my feeding uh, video, the feed that I give to my orchids. I know I, it will be there as soon as I can, but I will take some time for it because I will try to uh, explain and share my thoughts on the feeding schedule. So, um, but yeah, anyhow, for now, thank you for watching. As usual, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below and I will get to them as soon as I can. Bye bye!